There you go. There's more? I can't eat all this. Don't sweat it, Chairman. Us young folks can handle this chow. Oh, definitely. My stomach's a bottomless pit. Bon appetit! Hell yeah! We got so focused on our food that we forgot to actually discuss anything. Oh, it is damn good. Yeah, yeah. We have to get down to business. Guess I'm kicking us off. This is Kunmekun, leader of Bleach Japan's Yokohama branch. He's going to run for this district's representative seat in the next election. Now what you gotta understand about this kid is he's just step one of Ryo Aoki's scheme to turn Ijincho into his personal political machine. Xiao's correct. Kume is just one step. Aoki's other steps include a huge number of Bleach Japan candidates all over the country. Yeah, I noticed that too. Ah, <sighs> and the dam is broken. There's no stopping it now. Governor Aoki's too popular. There's no one who can stand up to him. So you think Kume's win is a done deal, Chairman Hoshino? Pretty much. Kume has Aoki's broad public adoration at his back. Throwing Aoki's fundraising and media savviness. Kume's got a very real shot at this. I'd say so. He wants Ijincho so bad it's gotten personal for him. Since it was Ogikubo's kingdom before, seizing it makes Aoki the new heir apparent. That's gotta be what he's thinking. Yes. I'd venture to say that even if the Citizens' Liberal Party wins every other district, he won't be satisfied unless he wins this one. He's gonna throw everything he's got at this contest. Definitely. Well, I'm not gonna roll over and just take it. Anybody with me? With you on what? On taking this dude down a peg. I'm sick of getting our asses kicked. We all are, but... We can't just let him win. We need to do something. I mean, Bleach Japan is in bed with the Omi Alliance. Isn't that fucked up? It's, you know, hypocritical. They go around preaching about how Grey Zones need to go, acting like they're heroes or something. Meanwhile, they team up with gangsters to take over Japan, and everyone just claps for them? Thing is, Kasuga, these gangsters have a governor on their side. They're untouchable. Are you guys even hearing yourselves right now? What's gotten into you? The Ejin Three used to protect the weak and vulnerable in this town. Granted, you did it by running a huge scam, so I'm not gonna give you too much credit. But after everything the city's given you, don't you feel like you owe something to it? Look, I know none of you guys did what you did just for the money. Okikubo was the one raking in all the dirty riches. You guys wanted to stop a war from destroying this town. And if you don't stand up now, you're basically abandoning the Ejin Three's purpose. It's a discreet. You sure you want to finish that thought? Yeah, dial it down, or I'll set you straight. Well, I for one agree with him. Uh, you do? Everything you said is true. We all lived in the Grey Zones, and sure, that ain't something to be proud of. But at least we could be proud of putting food on the tables of our men and their families. You're with me on that at least, right, Sonway? If we roll over, we will be throwing away everything we've ever worked for. Zhao. No, it's true. And remember, I left the Liu Meng in your hands. I trusted you to consider what my men need. This is shaping up to be your first job as their new boss. Come on, Sun Hui. Damn it. Fine. Uh, Chairman Hoshino, you got any wisdom of your own to lend us? Well... I do understand the need to be fair to the city. I'll help. And to think, <laughs> I only came here for the food. Didn't expect to get roped into some noble last stand. You know what they say, there's no such thing as a free lunch. True that, now let's go take care of Kume. I have to admit, I will enjoy knocking that little punk off his pedestal. So what's a move? 
Good question. We need to strike, but how? Don't you think it's obvious? No. What? We need to ruin the young master's reputation. Meaning? We gotta make sure Kume loses the election. How do you propose we do that? Um, that part I hadn't really figured out. But once we do, it'll be like kicking Aoki right in the face! I don't see how it's feasible. I mean, we could maim him. If he's too injured, he'd have to pull out of the race, and then... You wanna kill him? Well, only if he resists. We can't do that. If he dies, I'll just replace him with some other tool. I'm sure they've got backup candidates waiting in the wings. Hey, winning. That's how we do it. We just win it ourselves. Huh? We win the election with our own candidate. Put someone up who can get more votes than Kume. There's gotta be someone out there who can do it. Yes, probably. But how do we figure out who this someone is? We're not political consultants. Well, we should remember the votes for Kume aren't really for him in the first place. They're votes for Aoki. Good point. Can you think of anyone who fits the bill, Chairman Hoshino? Unfortunately, I can't say I do. Ogi Kubo was an incumbent here for many years, but no opponents who posed any real threat. The only people who ever ran against him just did so as a formality. Hey, you seem to know a lot about it. Why don't you run? Excuse me? Yeah, people know who you are. You've got charisma. No Yakuza's gonna win an election, even in the Jincho. If he did, I'd consider the world doomed. <laughs> Seriously. But I could try to recruit someone who would have a chance in the race. That's a start. I hope you're not expecting me to shoulder this burden alone, though. What do you mean? Elections cost money. A lot of money. If I find a candidate, who's footing the bill for the campaign? Mm -mm. I'll tell you right now, my people don't have a single yen to spare. Right, so... Uh, how much is it exactly? I'm willing to chip in some myself. But I'll need an additional three million yen cash just to register. Three million? You need that much? At a minimum. If you can't scrape that amount together, this plan is dead in the water. <sighs> I hate to say it, but he's right. Can you do it, Kasugaku? Watch me. I'm over here. Have you taken this fun and games yet? Don't move. Yeah. Bring it on. Oh yeah. Who wants to go? On. Let's go. Ah. Okay. Oh. 
I'm up. Eyes on me. Going in. Oh, yeah. Are you done with all the bloody games yet? Maybe I'll splurge and buy some. Oh, I like what you have on now, Sajon. That's stuff, not enough. Oh, I really like this outfit, but nothing makes you feel more refreshed than a new look, right? Don't you ever feel that way, Nanshan? Oh, sure, I get that. Whenever I want to change things up, pick up some new cardboard and rebuild the house. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty refreshing. I mean, technically, yes, but no, not at all. Ready if you are. Well, I got Take this. Your best yeah. shot. Who wants to go? Kimi Zaku Jade, you can win. Are you done with taking the fun games yet? Hey! 
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Hey, hold on, Ichiban. What's all this about going to Osaka? <laughs> Turns out Arakawa-san needs some help. My help. Mitsu just called me and said Arakawa-san's already on his way to Sotenbori. But why Osaka? I don't know. I didn't bother to ask. You realize Sotenbori is where the Omi Alliance is headquartered. You'll be screwed if your cover gets blown. Think about that, would you? All I need to think about is that Arakawa-san said he needs me. He's going to Osaka, so I'm going to Osaka. I don't care what anyone says about it. <sighs> he gets like this, Tadachi-san. And there's no point stopping him, is there? <laughs> Loyalty is admirable, but jeez. Ichiban, what about Ijinsho? The election's coming up. We helped you make all that money to fight Ryo Aoki. Now you're just gonna leave us hanging? Not at all. We got the three million yen we needed, and I'm gonna go give it to the Seiryu clan right now. We may have the money, but that hasn't solved our lack of a candidate. Certainly a necessary element of the plan. Didn't Chairman Hoshino say he'd take care of it? Don't worry. He's the kind of guy who keeps his word. If we give him the cash, he'll do the rest. If you say so. Safe travels, then. Hey, don't encourage him to do such dangerous things. Kasuga, if you really are leaving, we're coming with you. Sounds good to me. I've never been to Osaka. Guys, I'm not going there as a tourist. I'm going straight into the lion's den. Assuming Adachi-san is right and that's where the Yomi home base is. You guys don't need to get involved. This is... personal for me. Come on, man. After all we've been through, aren't we friends? Of course. I'm saying this because we're friends. If something happens to me out there, you gotta finish what we started. Still sounds like a load of crap to me. Well, think what you want. 
But we got the three million yen, and I'm taking it to Hoshino. I'll see all of you around. Yes. Yes. Very well. Does my father really need to attend to this Sotomori thing personally? Yes. Remember, as acting Captain Arakawa is merely keeping the seat warm for Watase. Being there in person will be a show of respect and good faith. Fine. But why am I just now hearing about this? I said I wanted to know if he so much as breathed somewhere outside his usual places. My apologies, young master. I only just found out myself. Really now? Well, all we can do now is wait and see. Hmm? Wait and see what, exactly? 
Masaru Watase and Masumi Arakawa are finally meeting in person after how long? If I know my dad, they're not just gonna say hi and be on their merry ways. I highly doubt they're plotting anything. Isn't the Omi chairman still bedridden? I've heard it's terminal. Yes, that's correct. Then it's past time for a potential successor to be formally named. Actually, it may not be that urgent yet. But then again, the chairman might say Watase's release from prison is a good time to step down. And then Watase would become chairman, naturally. I'm sure his reign would be a very long one. But Omi history will take a very different course if, say, Watasi disappeared. What? <laughs> I'm thinking dear old dad might try to make it happen. I don't know if that's arakawa son style, exactly. You don't think so? Remember when I asked dad to sell out the Tojo clan during the 3K plan? Well, I never told him to bring in the Omi Alliance. He did that all on his own. I think it was a good decision, actually. Don't you? Uh, well, sure. Thanks to him, the Toja were driven out of Kamrucho. The 3K plan was a wild success, and my approval rating skyrocketed. I expected the Tojo clan to fall hard, but I didn't think some third-rate Tojo vermin like Dad could ever worm his way into their top ranks. <laughs> Shrewd of him to do that during all the commotion. I thought he was a slow, antiquated Yakuza. And certainly not the type of man who could catch me off guard. Huh. I guess power really does corrupt, huh? Don't get me wrong. If Dad buries Watase and takes over the Omi Alliance, I benefit too. Having him there would be very convenient for me. There's just one thing that feels off. What's that? He hasn't told me about any plan to off Watase at their meeting. That's evidence against my theory. I'll have to see what happens. If all they do is greet each other, I was wrong. Look. <laughs> On the other hand, if he wastes Watase and still doesn't see fit to tell me, that would be a betrayal I cannot tolerate. Arakawa-san won't betray you. He better not. His little Yakuza club only has power because I extend it to them. I've come a long way since the Kamurocho 3K plan. I'm at the top of the political pyramid now, which means I need to know what's happening in the underworld. The hierarchy should be very clear at this point, and I expect people to fall in line. That's a matter of policy, and family is no exception. Sawashiro, between me and my father, to whom would you swear complete fealty? Arakawa-san sent me to do as you command. His orders were to put you and your interests above everything else. My interest is for you to watch his every move and report them to me. Understood. I'll send Tendo to Osaka. He seems to have rapport with Arakawa-san. Oh, Patriarch Tindo, when'd you get in? Just this afternoon. Tomorrow the captain's getting out of prison. Oh, really? <laughs> Not something civilians like you need to worry about. The wise thing to do would be to mind your own business. Is that a threat, sir? Don't joke like that, man. Your fists ought to require a weapons permit. Say what now? Nothing. I got work to do, just like you said. See ya. Hey. Can I get a refill over here? Oh, make it two. Hey, Ichiban. You look like a teenage girl waiting for a text from her boyfriend. 
Put it down and relax. Have a drink with us. Yeah, we're in Osaka after all. Stop giving me shit. See, this is why I want to come alone. Where are you going, Kasuga-san? I bet it's not to take a leak. He hardly drank a sip. Yo. Sure. waiting for this call from Mitsu. Could be any second now. Didn't he say he was busy planning Watase's welcome back from prison party? Something like that. Some big party at Omi HQ. What a load of crap, huh? Can't he see that Arakawa-san's plans are way more important? Well, but wasn't he expecting you to be here tomorrow, not today? Dude, you're the one who jumped the gun and got here early. Kinda douchey for you to complain now. Who are you, Mama Kasuga? Someone's gotta be. But hey, listen. I overheard something that'll interest you. There was a group of people in here chatting about Arakawa being in town. It's big news, apparently. Really? Yeah. Sounds like folks are worried that a war might break out between Arakawa and Watase. It's just a rumor, but... Wisdom of the crowd and all. Shh! I got a text. Yeah? From Mitsu? Ah, oh, man, what the hell? What's wrong? It's from Nikogata. He texted me, I finally got a pick with Kamalup. Great, so glad you told me about that, Nick. Ichiban, did you see my photo? Nobody ever manages to get a pick like that. Bet Bunny, he's so crafty, you never know where his fuzzy little ears will pop up. I'm beside myself, I can't believe I found him! All right, all right, I get it. Huh? What's got your coat? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm really tied up right now. It'd be a big help if you didn't call me for a couple days, okay? Well, look who's a busy bee. You visiting a lot of pretty flowers these days? No, it's nothing about girls! Listen, I'll call you when things settle down. I'm happy you found Kamalup. <laughs> I was just teasing. Why are you so mad? Be more like Kamulop. He's never hopping mad. I gotta go, man! Yep. Hopping mad. <laughs> mm. uh, sorry. Hey, Kasuga. If you're gonna be a pain in everyone's ass, just go to Omi HQ already. Huh? Come on. Since when do you sit around and wait for anyone, anyhow? Besides, if a war really does break out like these people think, your precious Arakawa-san could be in actual danger. <laughs> hey, Adachi-san. You're absolutely right. Screw waiting. Time to go. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> like devils on each other's shoulders. Listen. Yep. <laughs> 